and welcome to the SPL wrap of Match Week 3's Proceedings. I'm Catherine Robin to take you through what was a frenetic two days of non-stop action that produced the first hat-trick of the season amongst other highlights. Let's kick things off with the clash of the two title contenders. Lion City Sailors were hit with a triple blow that left them reeling in shock after the 4-0 loss against Alberex Nagata. He's cancelled the yellow. Oh no, he's reaching for the red. Oh, Anu has to go. Has that final way in the back of the lane? Has an own goal. Lionel Tan. Oh dear, not good for the new signing. On the flip side, the White Swans have now scored at least one goal in each of their last 36 matches as they continue to hold the longest goal-scoring streak across the nine SPL clubs. A late flourish here. And Kunori finally gets on the score sheet. Over at the Jurong Stadium, Tampanese Rovers went top of the table after their 3-0 win over the Young Lions. Tampanese hit two goals in as many minutes with none other than Faris Romley netting his third goal in his third straight match. As one team rose to the top, another had to make way. Geelang International failed to pick up any points for the first time this season. While their opposition, Tanjung Paga, picked up their first points of the campaign. And finally, to the match that produced a flurry of cards and goals. A total of nine yellow cards were dished out in the match between Brunei DPMM and Ballastia Khalsa, with a controversial red added to the pile. Now, has he stamped? No, has it was he... on the follow-through, definitely. There was yeah. contact on the follow-through, but right. was it? Now, this is the this one. This is probably here. the angle, right? Oh, it's going to be a red. Oh. A red card. Wow, that is a big, big moment here in this match. And to add to the mix, there was also a reversal of a red. It's a handball. That's another penalty. Deliberate handball. It's a second yellow card and a red now. So now Najib, do you know what? Najib was also giving him a really hard time. There was no shortage of goals either as DPMM led the race to the final whistle until Ryoya Taniguchi sealed the victory for Ballistia with the season's first hat trick. Taniguchi! Right into that corner! And Ballistia now will feel they've secured the three points in the 100th minute of this. Epic game. So the two days of action delivering what is hopefully the first of many hat-tricks to follow. Will this season's tally surpass the 15 hat-tricks from the 2022 season? What were your thoughts on the red card decisions? Don't hold back. Let us know your insights in the comments section below. I'm Catherine Roberts signing out.